en pourriture. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. En... Reprise de l'audience. The court is now back in session and the floor is given to Nunchi's defense to put questions la to the est donnée à la défense de Nunchia qui pourra interroger la partie civile. Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. Good morning, Your Honours, Mr. President, and good Bonjour. morning once again, by Supani. My name is Sonar Run, a defense counsel for Nunchi. I have some questions Sonarun. for you this morning due to the limited time that I have. I shall be brief. Je dispose de peu de temps, je ne vous poserai que quelques questions. On the 17th April 1975, where were you? Le 17 avril 1975, où étiez-vous? Answer. Réponse. On the 17th April 1975, le 17 avril 1975, près de Chamkarmon. Thank you. Question. On that day, that is the 17th of April 1975, the Khmer Rouge soldiers came to your house. Des what Khmer time was it? Sont arrivés chez vous. Answer. À quelle heure était-ce? On the 17th April Réponse. 1975, the Khmer Rouge soldiers did not enter my house, les Khmer Rouge but they ne were shooting into the maison. air and chasing les the people en that is uh, my neighbors to immediately leave their houses. Les gens de they mon fire shots in through the air de chez eux. and chased us to go away in three days because the Americans would drop bombs. I was shocked upon hearing that, so I could no longer Cela stay in my house. Je pas pu chez moi. In addition, I could not en stay outre, long and waiting for the Khmer Rouge to enter my house je ne pas attendre que les saw the photos of my husband who was the senior military officer in a military uniform as well as the photos of my extended photos, families on of my son and on my son Thank you. Question. Question. The Khmerus did not directly chase you to go away from your house, les but it did Khmer so to your neighbors. Is that correct? Chez vous, mais ils fait Answer. À vos voisins, -ce pas? They were about to come to my house Réponse. because they ils were approaching from my neighboring houses and it would come to my house soon. Ils For that reason, I decided to leave voisins, my house immediately. J'ai donc décidé de partir tout de suite. That was the case that they chased everybody to leave the house. Ils ont donc chassé tout le monde. Question. As you said, they did not Question. chase you, you and your family, but they did so to your neighbors. But it was your chassés, understanding that it was unavoidable that bien. they would chase you from your house. Que Is vous, this correct? Ils allaient inévitablement vous chasser and, uh, de chez vous à votre tour. The Khmer Rouge chased people from every house and they were about to come to my house. Ils étaient sur le point d'entrer chez moi. For that reason, I had to leave my house because I was very sure that they would come to my house soon. Ils viendraient rapidement chez moi. Question. Question. Allow me to clarify this point. When they were about to approach uh, you and your house, how far were they and how maison, many houses were in between? Et President, de maisons Madame Civil Party, please pause a bit until you see vous. the red light on the le microphone. Madame, veuillez attendre que le voyant s'allume. Answer. La partie civile. It was just one house down, then it would be my house. Maison, après quoi ils For that reason, I was very shocked. I did not gather much belonging, sous le choc, je and I had to leave with chose. my children. Dû avec mes Thank you. Question. 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 Question
Thank you. Question. Question. That this means you let Phnom Penh Autrement dit, on your own free will and not by the Khmer rules. Vous avez Is this correct? Phnom Penh de votre plein gré? Answer. Est-ce exact? I did not Vous n'y avez pas été leave forcé. my house on my own free will. Who would do that? Je n'ai pas quitté ma maison de mon plein gré. Qui l'aurait fait It's because of the act by the Khmer Rouge soldiers. They fire shots into the air and they chase people to go away from their house. And instead, the Americans would drop bombs. The motif que les Américains allaient bombarder. Was the statement that scared everyone. So although they did not come to my house yet, ils ne sont certes pas venus jusqu'à chez moi. And of course, I would be afraid for them to come to my house and see the photos of my husband and family. Mais j'avais peur qu'ils n'entrent chez moi et voient les photos. If they were to enter my house, ils étaient entrés dans ma maison. And saw the photos and where I was there. Les photos. Then there would be big trouble for me. Et là, j'aurais eu de gros problèmes. Question. Yes, I understand your point. Allow me to move forward. Je comprends bien. When the Khmer Rouge were one house down from your house. Quand les Khmer Rouge étaient à une maison de chez vous. Did you observe that they were threatening your neighbors or they were in an ordinary normal? Character or behavior. Ou bien se comportait-il de façon normale? President, civil party, please wait. The assigned counsel for civil party, you may proceed. Madame, veuillez attendre. La parole est à l'avocate de la partie civile. Thank you, Your Honor. This line of questioning is repetitive, and at this point, I believe the defense counsel is badgering our witness. Je pense que la défense est en train de harceler notre témoin. Sonarum, Maître Sonarum, allow me to respond. I am a defense counsel. Je suis avocat de la défense. And we haven't yet questioned or completed the questions of this civil party. Nous n'avons pas achevé notre interrogatoire. And that is the right of the defense counsel. La défense a le droit to only focus on one particular matter or to put it in a segmented based on our approach. And if, of course, the civil party can respond, that would be at the discretion of the bench. Si la partie civile ne doit pas répondre aux questions, c'est au juge d'en décider. The objection raised by the assigned counsel for the civil party is not sustained. The civil party, you are instructed to respond to the question put to you by the defense counsel. President, it seems that the civil party cannot recall the last question put to her. Defense counsel, please repeat your last question. Apparemment, la partie civile a oublié la dernière question. Maître, veuillez la répéter. Council, in order to save time, as we only have ten minutes, I move on. Et je vais donc passer à la suite. When you saw the Khmer Rouge approaching your house, vous avez vu les Khmer Rouge s'approcher de chez vous. Qu'avez-vous observé Est-ce qu'ils se comportaient de manière brutale ou de manière normale Qu'est-ce qu'ils portaient-ils Réponse. Expressions. They stared at us. They Leur threatened everyone to leave the house. They fired shots into the air. They shouted for everyone to leave the house, otherwise the Americans would drop the bombs. And that we had to leave the house within uh, for three days. So they were not in a humble banner. They were of a cruel nature. 
and they Leur wore attitude était cruelle black uniform. et non pas humble. Ils étaient Counselor, vêtus thank you. Noir. Do the Question. No, chairs from your house, but from your response, it, it looks very clear that they Selon did so to réponses, you, and that you saw them threatening and they firing shots into the air. When they were in your menaces, house, did you hear them uh, shouting directly, and how come you seem to be very sure on your response? Est-ce que vous les avez vus directement tirer en l'air? Answer. Réponse. I was very sure because the house was not far from my house. I heard everything. I heard the loud uh, shouting loin, by the Khmerus chasing people to go away from their house. Pour chasser les gens de chez it eux. was not the gentle voice. Leur voix and of course, pas this is compounded uh, by the fact that they en fired plus, shots into ils ont the air. En and that is the fact. Tels sont les faits. Cancer, thank you. La défense. When you evacuated yourself from Phnom Penh, Quand vous you reached a certain Phnom location Penh, and you ran out of rice and food part, and everything else. And vous êtes tombé à court de riz et de nourriture. You only had a ring which was a gift from your in law, so you change it for rice famille, and let on the change it for medicine. Riz, puis if I am not mistaken, si my question is when Voici you did the battering that is from uh, rice to medicine, riz, whom did you exchange it with and where? Avec qui avez -vous President, échangé the Civil Party, please pause. Madame la partie civile, the Assigned Council of Civil Party, you may proceed. Your Honor, the Defense Council just assumed a fact la that was not given in her testimony. He just claimed that Mrs. Déposée. Bay evacuated herself when she has Il clearly repeated over and over again that she heard orders telling people to leave the city and there were gunshots. She did not evacuate herself, nor has she ever made this statement. So we would appreciate it if you didn't pose this in a question to her when she has not made that testimony. Aaron. La défense. The objection raised uh, by the assigned counsel is not to the point that I said. Cette objection this is a, a new fact. She said objet. she had a, a diamond earring which was a gift from the in-law and in a row of exchanges, uh, she got the medicine, and my question is, famille, who did she exchange it with and where? Avec qui elle avait that is my main point of the question. Ma question. President, Saint Council for Civil Parties, you may proceed. And de la partie Madame civile. Civil Party, please wait. Madame la partie vive, veuillez attendre. Your Honor, I'm objecting to the form of the question. He began the question by assuming a fact that wasn't in Mrs. Bay's testimony. He said, when you evacuated yourself, um, and then he proceeded with the remainder of his question. We're objecting to that form of question that he posed to her. C'est cela que nous contestons. President, the objection is not sustained. Civil Party, you are instructed to respond to the last question put to you by the Madame Defense Council. Vous devez répondre à la question. Civil Party, I exchanged my civile. ring and it was done secretly with the secret. villagers in that Village. That was the Traoui Slar village. Question. Question. Were those villagers uh, the new 17 April Ces people or were they the best people in the village? village? President, Le Madame Civil Party, please observe Madame a slight civile, pause before you respond. Un instant avant de répondre. 
Sivapati. Réponse. Those were the villagers who had been living in that uh, Trasla village. Dans le village de Trans they Trans had pity on me and they gave pitié. us food. Ils nous ont donné à manger. And I exchanged the ring with them secretly with, secret without the knowledge Lando of the Khmer Rouge. Rouge. Cancel. My point is. Question. What kind of people did you exchange the ring with? Qui étaient were they the best people or were they the new people like yourself? Des Answer. Nouveaux comme vous, they des were not the new de people, they were the, the old people or the best people as they were called at the time. Des membres du peuple de base, comme on disait à l'époque. Question. Question. If they were the Best people. C'était donc des membres du peuple How de base. How did they know that uh, your ring was of a great value and agreed to exchange it for rice? Comment savaient-ils que votre anneau avait beaucoup de valeur they et pourquoi ont-ils well. accepté de l'échanger contre du riz? Because they were Réponse. not the people who never knew the city. They were of a Ces kind of a, a wealthy status who lived in the village. Aisés. They knew si the gold and the diamond very well. Ils en matière d'or et de diamant. Question. Question. This morning, you stated before this court that uh, before the Ce arrival matin, of the Vietnamese, vous avez dit des Vietnamiens, you were asked to dig a pit, on vous a dit de creuser un trou. which was uh, two times 0.5 with a one meter depth. Qui faisait un mètre de profondeur et deux mètres sur 50 cm. Why were you asked to dig the pit? Pourquoi were vous you given any reasons for trou? digging the pit? Vous a-t-on expliqué pourquoi? Answer. You were mistaken. Vous vous trompez. It's not the Vietnamese who asked me to dig the pit. It was the, the Khmer Rouge. It was the, the, the chief and the deputy chief of the village who de forced the people to dig the pits les gens for, each for each family. Pour chaque famille. Council, I apologize if I uh, made a mistake in my question, si but in fact trompé, my question was Prior to the arrival of the Vietnamese, the Khmer Rouge at the time asked you and the, the family to dig the pit. On dit aux familles de creuser un trou. Were you given reasons for digging the pit? Expliquer pourquoi vous deviez le faire. Answer. Réponse. I did not have any family members remain with me. I was by myself Je as my children all died. I was living in the 17 April village at the time. Au village and the persons avril. who asked me to dig the pit were the trou, chief and the deputy chief of the village. De village et son and each family was asked Chaque to dig a pit. Creuser un trou. And as I was by myself, I was also Comme asked to dig seul, a pit, and I asked why, and the Khmer soldiers trou, told me that although I was by myself, I was considered a family on my seul, own, and I was asked famille. to dig the pit, which was two meter long, half a meter wide, and one meter deep, but I did not complete the digging because of the Vietnamese right. This is my last question. You told the court this question. morning that your health is not uh, that great matin, and your memory doesn't serve you santé, well and you have a chronic mental trauma. Vous dites que vous souffrez de troubles psychologiques If chroniques. you have all these symptoms and conditions, how 
could Avec you work in an organization to assist other women in mental health? President, the assigned counsel for civil parties, you may proceed. Your Honor, Mrs. Bay never said in her testimony that her memory was not good. Um, we would really ask that the defense counsel stop assuming facts that aren't in the evidence when he's posing these questions to Mrs. Bay. Mr. President, the defense counsel I am entitled to, to ask even a smaller detail from the civil party détaillé. in order to make sure the statement she makes is truthful or not. La véracité that is my point. De la President. Le président. Council. It seems that you don't really follow the proceedings and the procedures practice in this court. Ne you pas can de only object once habituelle. through the same point, Vous not twice. Pouvez soulever and une your seule fois une objection donnée. is sustained. The question that put by the defense counsel is not related to the facts la being question de la défense process before de this court. For that reason, civil, counts, civil party, donc, you are instructed not to respond to the last question. And the time retenue. is now up for the Nunti's defense. Le temps and the floor is therefore de given to Kyosempan's defense. C'est à présent le tour de la défense de Kyosempan. Defense Council. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Madam Civil Party. Bonjour, On juge. behalf of uh, my client, Kirsten Pond, I do not have any questions for this civil party. Au nom de mon client, Monsieur Kirsten Pond, je n'ai pas de questions à poser. Le and président, merci. Thank you, Madam Bay Sopani. Merci, Madam Bay Sopani. The hearing of your statement of suffering and harm. Est terminé. And testimony has now concluded, you may be excused from this court Vous pouvez à and your statement of suffering votre déclaration and harm sur and testimony et votre may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. And we wish you good health and good luck, and you may Bonne return to your residence, court officer, in collaboration with the WISU, please assist Madame Bay Sopani for her return to her residence or wherever she wishes to go to. You may now leave the courtroom, Madame Bay Sopani. Madame Bay Sopani, vous pouvez à présent quitter le prétoire. President, uh, court officer, President. could you invite the civil party TCCP 145 into the courtroom?
President, good morning, Mr. Civil Party. What is your name? Réponse. Civil Party. Je My name Sun is Sovandi. Soon Sowandi. Question. Merci, Monsieur Thank Sowandi. you. Is it Sowandi or Sowandi? Sowandi, n'est-ce pas? Mr. Sowandi, please observe a slight pause à between the question and answer session so that your response can be interpreted. Veuillez and please observe the red light on the tip of the microphone, which indicates that it is activated. And your voice will therefore go through the Ainsi, voice distribution system système. for the party and for the public as well as for the interpreter as your voice will be interpreted in through Quel other languages. How old are you? Réponse. Answer I am fifty seven years old. Question. Merci. Monsieur Sovandi. Question Where were you born? Quel est votre lieu de naissance? Réponse. Answer Je I suis was né. born. At Damco Market, au marché de Damco, à Kabal Monchai, Kabal Monchai Market, that is in Saint Phnom Penh. Damco, Phnom Penh. Question. Question. Where is your current address? Où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer. Réponse. I lived in Bangveng Village, au village de Bangveng, Rangkasai Sub District, commune Sankar de District, District, but the district de Sankar. province. Question: What is your occupation? Question: Quel est votre métier? Answer: Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je I work in the rice fields. Cultive du riz. Question: What are the names of your parents? Question: Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer: my father is Mok Chen and my Mok mother is Kum Liang. Kum Liang. Question, Question, what is your wife's name and how many children do you have? Answer, Réponse. my wife is Song Supai. Ma femme s'appelle Song Supai. We only have one child. Nous n'avons qu'un enfant. Thank you, Mr. Sun Sowandi. As a civil party before this court, you are given an opportunity to make your statement of suffering sur les souffrances que vous avez vécu and harm et sur le and préjudice que vous avez any subi impact inflicted upon you sur le plan materially, physically, physique, and Psychologically, which are the direct results of the crimes that occurred and which led you to become a civil party in this case. The crimes which have been charged against the two accused, that is Nunchi and Kyo Sampon, and which occurred during the Democratic Cambodia regime from the 17th April 1975 to the 6th January 1979. You may proceed. In 1975, on the 17th of April, I was evacuated through Kbal Tunnel all the way to Chpampo, and then finally I reached Angkor Toy. When I was being evacuated, my parents and my older siblings had left earlier and I had to stay behind at home with my older sister. And then a week later, I was evacuated 
j'ai été évacué. When they were evacuating us, uh, they use force. Ils nous ont évacué de force. To move us out of our house on the pretext that we would leave for a few days in order to reorganize Phnom Penh and then we would be returning to our home. So we left our house and we were looking for my parents because when before they left uh, they told uh, me that uh, if I looked for them along the river bank I would find them. But then I uh, tried to look for them anywhere else, but I could not find them. I only uh, saw uh, dead bodies along the street. I just went on and on aimlessly. They told us that uh, we would go to a place where Anka designated uh, for us, and they told us that Anka had plenty of food, uh, food uh, for us to eat. Uh, we would have sufficient uh, things to eat, uh, unlike London regimes, we had to pay for everything over there. We did not have to pay anything, but we had a lot of things to eat. Then I uh, was looking for my parents. I told people along the way, and then they told me that my parents were sent back to welcome some like uh, CNO. I wanted to return back home, but I was not allowed to do so. They told me that. Uh, uh, I must not return home or I would be killed. Uh, so they told me that uh, those who were supposedly sent uh, to welcome some Dai Xianu was meant uh, to die. So uh, eventually they put me on the in the work site. On the uh, early days, uh, they uh, this distributed some uh, food for us, uh, rice, uh, two cans of rice for us. But once we got fully into the uh, work site, they no longer gave us rice. Instead, we had to eat uh, communally. We were given only a few ladles of watery crew for us to eat. Uh, at that time, it was a prison without wall. Uh, we had to work very hard. Uh, they forced us to work extremely hard. And as for our food ra uh, ration, uh, the watery crew was uh, was purely uh, water, and if they saw us uh, some vegetable inside our uh, gruel, then they would uh, beat us. If we only got one mango, they would uh, beat us with uh, the whip of the weapon. They discriminated against us, uh, saying that uh, we were from the feudalist family, we were from the city, we, uh, were from, uh, uh, we were the city people, we were capitalists. So they discriminated against us. They said uh, that it served us well when we came to the countryside and during starvation. That's what they uh, mocked at us. And in addition, I was uh, from uh, Kampuchea Kraum, but I had Je resided in Cambodia for a long Kraum, time, so I did not carry the action of Kampuchea Kraum people. And my uh, parents were, of course, uh, from Kampuchea Kraum. They still had a strong action of uh, Kampuchea Kraum, so uh, they always accused me of being uh, Kampuchea Kraum. At that time, they rounded up people from Kampuchea Kraum, and then uh, they were all executed. They rounded uh, them up uh, in a uh, different location, and then they told uh, me that those people who had been rounded up were uh, taken to do the plantation or farming somewhere else, but uh, in reality, those people were all killed. They, to they accused them of being Vietnamese. But and f uh, but in reality they were not because they had resided in Cambodia uh, for a long time uh, during the Sankum Rias Mijum 
time, uh, but they carry certain surnames which uh, follow the Vietnamese uh, tradition, and then they accused them of being Vietnamese. And when they were talking and chatting with each other, sometimes they uh, expressed themselves in Vietnamese, uh, then they were accused of being Vietnamese. For example, if they had some, some uh, action which was um, the tradition of Vietnamese, uh, then uh, they would be accused of being Vietnamese. Upon hearing any Vietnamese sound uh, action, uh, those people would be considered si Vietnamese and they would be uh, destined for um, smashing. On les uh, they say that uh, the uh, Kampuche Crown people were the agent of the Vietnamese, Ils they were the agent of the CIA. Des agents des et de la CIA. During the Khmer Republic, uh, there were uh, soldiers uh, supported by Sous the uh, Kampuche Crown Mère, people and my uncle uh, were from Kampuche Crown. They were soldiers of the, of the uh, Khmer Republic. And some of my other uncles worked for the late Son San. Pour, uh, Son San, rather. Son San. And other relatives of mine from Rumlik, Bangkna, and other places also worked uh, for the uh, Republic Khmer. And I actually uh, tried to look for my relatives uh, in Rangsay, um, a commune. Uh, and I actually continue to look for my parents uh, everywhere, including the various refugee sites uh, along the border, uh, too, but uh, I was uh, despaired. I could not find them. I actually uh, worked uh, as a soldier myself, but my uh, intention was to look for my relatives and my parents, but I was very, it was very uh, hopeless. I decided to return to Kampuchea Kram. Uh, I looked for the relatives of my uh, fathers, but I could not find anyone. Uh, they were all killed. I witnessed it by my uh, own eyes that the Khmer Kampuchea Crown were uh, indiscriminately uh, killed uh, during uh, that time. So this is my uh, statement of the event uh, at that time. As for the suffering I uh, endured, it was beyond words uh, can describe because uh, it was like the suffering sustained by other uh, victims. Ce sont des souffrances. J'ai souffert comme d'autres victimes. We ate virtually everything at that time, including insect. Nous devions manger presque n'importe quoi à l'époque. The president, in order to speed up the uh, proceedings, I now. Uh, hand over the floor to the uh, lawyers to put the question to the civil party. Counsel Samsung, thank you, Mr. President, and good morning, Mr. Simsovandi. According to your statement earlier, you said that your family were forcibly evacuated from Phnom Penh uh, around a week uh, earlier before you uh, left. Can you tell the court the reason why your family had to leave uh, earlier, a week earlier, and then you stay behind in Phnom Penh a week later before you left? Avant que vous -vous. Response. Réponse. My parents asked me to uh, stay behind Mes to look after the house de rester pour pouvoir de la maison. with my elder sister, uh, Mui Yi. Mui Yi. So we Et had to look after the house uh, at that time. We did not uh, even okay. expect that uh, we would be uh, nous evacuated nous uh, or we would be um, 
required to leave our house. Uh, we did not imagine that the uh, situation would happen. But uh, at that time, the situation was completely different. Uh, they pointed gun at us, uh, so we had no choice but to uh, leave our house. Uh, somehow was even uh, attacked by a uh, rocket propellers, uh, grenade, and uh, we ha I had to leave uh, our house looking for my parents, but uh, it was only uh, hopeless along the way. I could not find anything. They only told me that my parents had already returned to Phnom Penh to welcome some day. Council, you say that uh, when the Khmer Rouge uh, troop in Phnom Penh, uh, there were exchange of fires and gunfires. So, when the Khmer Rouge uh, entered your house, uh, did they come as soldiers and did they force you to leave your house at gunpoint? Response. Yes, of course, they forcibly evacuated out of our house. Uh, they, they forced us to leave our house uh, by threat. Um, so they actually threatened us with the uh, bombardment by Americans uh, on the city. Uh, they said that we had to leave our house, otherwise uh, we would uh, be killed by the bombardment. Uh, they said that if uh, we did not believe them, we would look at the street, everyone were packing and leaving the city. And then when we looked outside, of course, we saw people marching along the street, carrying food stuff and other things uh, out of the city. So they were fearful of being uh, bombarded by Americans. Question. Uh, in the course of evacuation, when uh, you were being evacuated out of Phnom Penh, you left the city one week after your family. So when you were leaving the city, what was the situation like uh, along the way? Response. Response. Along the way, I witnessed corpses scatter along the street, and they were killed during the exchange of fires. And just a few weeks uh, before that, uh, they were lured to return to Phnom Penh uh, on the pretext that they would welcome the return of uh, Prince uh, Sihanouk. And then I also witnessed the bulldozer uh, removing and uh, burying the uh, dead body. Uh, they just pushed the dead body uh, into the pit, uh, particularly along the uh, river bank. You would see uh, corpses uh, over there. We did not even go to care, uh, to fetch the water to drink from the river because we saw dead bodies inside. We only got the water from the wells nearby. Question concerning your um, evacuation. Uh, what uh, suffering uh, did you endure uh, in the course of evacuation, and what was your uh, feeling of uh, being evacuated at the time? Response. At that time, it. I did not imagine that uh, these things would happen, and I saw uh, dead bodies along the street. I did not know who uh, these people were, and they told us, actually, they encouraged us to move forward, saying that we would reach a place where we had plenty of things to eat over there. Then I saw uh, that uh, probably I uh, would uh, reach uh, that place before we left Phnom Penh, they also told us the same thing. Uh, they told us that unlike the Lono regimes, we had to pay for uh, food uh, we had, uh, for example, five real per bowl of noodle. Then over there, we would pay only two real per bowl of noodle. So we would have a lot of things to eat over there. Question. Concerning your uh, evacuation, you said uh, you did not meet with your parents. 
que vous n'avez pas retrouvé vos parents. What was your feeling like at that time when you uh, did not meet your parents? Comment you actually tried to meet with them. You did not parents. know the fate of your parents at that time. What was your feeling arrivé. like at Comment that time? Response. Réponse. I was completely despaired at that time. I was around désespéré. 17 or 18 years old. Uh, I did not have that, you know, I I was uh, actually uh, terrified uh, when I saw the uh, dead bodies along the way. And when I got uh, to the work site, uh, I realized uh, that uh, the situation would be different. It was not as what they told uh, me because we had to work very hard. Uh, and there was a segregation among people in the work site too. Those who were considered the 17 April people had to work very hard and had nothing to eat. Question. When you were Question. marching out of Phnom Penh Alors along the way until you reached uh, Saang, uh, uh, Sa Sa when you were Gartong. on the move, Alors que vous marchez. were your biography taken by the Khmer Rouge? Les Khmer Rouge ont, vous ont demandé vos renseignements Response. Well, at that time, uh, I had my uh, biogra biography written. Déjà ma there was a man from the former Ministry of uh, Veteran Affairs. Uh, he uh, saw me uh, carrying water for him. He whispered to me that uh, I must not reveal my uh, true biography. For example, I must not tell them that my parents were the former official of the previous regime if all my life would be in danger. I should only tell them that uh, your parents were farmers. Uh, if you ever told them that your parents were official, you would be killed. So that's what he whispered uh, to me. So I told them that I was the son of uh, farmers. I was minding um, uh, cattle and then B-52 uh, drops and kill all the animals so I had to uh, come uh, with them. So I had, uh, they asked me to uh, stay in one side. Council, well I would like to interrupt you, I need to move to a more specific point. You told the court earlier that at that time in your village or in your uh, cooperative, dans votre village, enfin dans la coopérative où vous étiez, people were uh, segregated. Uh, they were named 17 April people or new people or Khmer Crown people. Avril, so can you uh, enlighten Crown. the court? Uh, if when the Khmer Rouge uh, learned uh, that uh, certain groups of people were Khmer Crown or the 17 April people, si si what was uh, their living condition like and what was the overall Crown, treatment of était, these people like? Response. Response. When they um, took the biography of the people, they Lorsque actually could recognize the actions of people from Cambodian uh, uh, Crown. So, upon knowing that uh, they were from Cambodian Crown, then they would uh, classify them or group them in one uh, particular uh, group and then uh, they would uh, assign them for a uh, certain work. And uh, we thought to ourselves that we would uh, be in uh, problems. We did not know uh, our fate, actually. On that day, I uh, wanted to join with that uh, team uh, as well, but uh, some people told me that I Je must not join that group. And then the next day later, those group of people, that group of people uh, were evacuated. Were uh, exact, uh, executed, Ou rather. Ce group a été Question. You told the court that uh, 
you lost your Question. parents and relatives. Perdu vos parents et votre famille. Do you happen to know when uh, they all disappeared and what ils ont actually disparu? happened to them? Do you know that? Ce qui leur est arrivé, le savez-vous? Response. Réponse. At that time, I think that there was uh, some sort of purges. They tried to purges. segregate between Et the 17 April people, the 18 April people, and Kampuchea Crown people. So there was a clear segregation. There was no mix of uh, Cambodian people. The 17 April people cannot uh, stay with the 18. Uh, April people. So Avril. there was a, a clear segregation in the in the group of people. Donc, I think that that was séparés. the approach that they uh, mobilized in order to uh, clearly divide uh, the people. I was there. At that time, there was a sense of hatred against uh, those with uh, Vietnamese action. Discrimination contre ceux qui avaient un accent vietnamien. Question. You knew uh, that your parents uh, and relatives died. Uh, do you know when they died and why they died? Response. Response. When I was on the way, actually, to uh, Sang Pretoj, uh, I non was told by people that my parents had Pretoj. already returned to Phnom Penh to welcome Samdak Sihanouk. Uh, Before I left the city, not only my parents uh, uh, left, uh, but other families also left. Non so when we were there, uh, uh, people told me that my parents et and relatives là, uh, had already returned to Phnom Penh. Uh, those people were considered uh, educated people, so they had to return to Phnom Penh to welcome Sundak Sihanou uh, so that he would uh, reorganize the uh, structure in the government because he was the former official. And then they uh, disappeared. Et puis ils ont disparu. And they told us that uh, uh, they were all killed, but I did not know where they were executed. Council. I know that you are uh, holding uh, photos in your hand. Uh, what is your intention of bringing this uh, photo to the court? This is a photo of my family. Uh, we took in Kampuchea Crown. This was our family photo. Notre photo de this is my father. Mon, voilà mon père. Next to my father is my Côté mother, père, my aunt, ma mère, ma tante, and Sung Savanna, Sung Savani, Sung Savandi, that is uh, me, and the moi. little baby uh, held by my mother is Sung Savandun. This is my uh, aunt call. Uh, he was a Lampata driver in Olympic, but they were all killed. Ils ont tous été tués. My uncle, uh, Thach Long Ung Kek, uh, was Thach sent a uh, letter a during the Lonol administration. The Lonol soldiers and American soldiers were sending uh, them for fighting, uh, they were yeah. there. Then when I came back to uh, uh, Cambodia, uh, people told me that they were Cambodge, all killed in the Le but when they got on board a boat, uh, uh, bateau, they uh, were told uh, that uh, they would be returned uh, to Kampuchea Crown, but uh, they, their boat was shelled. Le and eventually they were all killed instantly, but 
Et ils ont tous été tués à tourne les bâtis. Question. Question. Can you describe uh, the suffering as a result of the loss of your uh, family members? Que vous avez enduré Does uh, your suffering uh, uh, still sustain until today? Vous encore aujourd'hui? Response. Réponse. I would like to ask the chamber, and I would also like to ask faire une demande à la chambre. Mr. Nunchi and Mr. Kusampon, counsel interrupts. Ah, Mr. Nunchi et Mr. Kusampon. Question. Uh, of course, you will be uh, given the opportunity to put the question, but I would like to know the state of suffering uh, you have uh, sustained as a result of the loss of your uh, beloved family, your relatives, and your parents. I, was, I know that, of course, you uh, had a great pain after losing them, but does this pain continue until today for you? Response. Réponse. Concerning the suffering, in the past, I had great suffering, but until today, uh, it subsides gradually because, of, because the time has uh, lapsed. But when looking back uh, to travail. the past, of course, I had Mais great suffering and I wanted justice passé, uh, immediately at the times. And now it has been many years. But whatever je it is, uh, I uh, am happy with what et we are doing now. We are trying to find justice. Découlé. And I hope that if the justice is done, then uh, my suffering uh, will uh, subside. I believe that if we uh, really want to uh, dwell on this, then uh, Cambodia would not be at peace. We will continue to si uh, continue face uh, unrest. Um, you know, in Cambodian history, at that time, people talk about Kong. Uh, Viet Cong was fighting, but actually when we went into the forest fighting, it was not between us and Viet Cong, but it was between Khmer and Khmer. Question. Question. When you file your application to join Quand as a civil party, what was your uh, intention of your Quelle application to join as a civil party? Pourquoi and as far as the reparation is concerned, what uh, claims are you Quel trying to request uh, to the court uh, to be uh, avoided as a uh, reparation for you? Response. Réponse. As for reparation, first and foremost, uh, in order to reduce the level of suffering I have, I would like uh, the court to order the construction of school, of road, as well as uh, stupa in the pagodas, so that people can pay a uh, tribute uh, to the Khmer Kampuchi crown uh, who were killed at that time. Because at that time, the levels of crimes they committed were so barbaric, even a small baby were also killed. They were crushed into a tree trunk at that time, so this was a barbaric act, and uh, we, those people should be punished. Et il faut punir. 
questions. Uh, now, this is the opportunity for you uh, to put the question uh, to the uh, co-accused or any particular accused. And with that, I thank you very much for coming to uh, testify in court today. The President, Mr. Savandi, uh, thank you. You have, If you have questions for the uh, co-accused, you may put the question. Uh, however, uh, you have to put the question through us, uh, the chamber. Then uh, we will refer uh, the question to the accused. That is the uh, procedures that is provided for in the Cambodian law as well as the internal rules applicable before uh, this chamber. Et le you may proceed. Que procède ainsi. The civil party. La partie civile. I would like to ask some questions to Mr. Nguyen Chia and Mr. Kyo Sampon. My first question is, question. why were the Khmer Crown people rounded up, Pourquoi purged, and then smashed? And why were they accused of Cambodian dumb of being Cambodian with uh, Vietnamese hat. Les My second Khmer question. Did, were you involved Cambodian in the uh, policy making that led to the killing Vietnamien. and suffering Ensuite, of Cambodian people during that regime? Votre implication dans les politiques the third question. If you happen to Troisième return uh, to lead uh, this regime again, would you do it si differently? Thank you, Mr. Subandi. Merci, Monsieur Subandi. Now I refer présent, your three questions trois questions to the co-accused, and I have to refer your question to Mr. Q. Sampon first to On respond to uh, your questions and followed by Mr. Nguyen Chia. Council, uh, International Council for Mr. Nguyen Chia, you may proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Good morning, Your Honours. Um, although I don't object to questions raised by the civil parties, I do know, and I would like to observe that the first question is far outside of the scope of the, of, the, of, the, of the present trial. I'm not sure if questions of scope of the trial are, are uh, questions which the defense can raise, but I do know that uh, the prosecution of the Kampuchea Krom uh, is not part of this trial. Que les persécutions des Khmer Krom ne font pas partie de ce procès. The President, National Council for Mr. Q. Sampon, you may proceed. Council Kung Simon. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. In addition to my esteemed colleague uh, for Mr. Nguyen Chia, I would like to um, touch on question number three that uh, the civil party is asking questions uh, that uh, elicit uh, assumptions or speculations, so I uh, believe that this question is not appropriate. Therefore, I uh, submit uh, that the chamber uh, reject uh, the last question posed by the civil party. Je prie donc la chambre the president. De rejeter cette troisième question. Thank you. Le président. And the counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia, um, do you have a similar observation? Uh, or do you share the observation of the defense team for Mr. Uh, Kyo Sampon concerning de the third de question Kyo posed by the civil question. party? Um, Mr. President, I see the hypothetical nature uh, and, the, and the speculation character of that question. Um, I think my, my client will also be able to see that. 
je pense que mon we client le verra aussi. Nous limitons notre objection à la première question. Le président. Le président. Counsel for the civil party, you may uh, proceed. La parole est à l'avocat de la partie civile. Counsel, uh, Mr. President, concerning the first question Monsieur posed le by the uh, civil party partie concerning civile, the rounding up or the purges for execution or the accusation of uh, the uh, Cambodian body with the Vietnamese uh, head, I believe that this is uh, utterly within the uh, scope of the uh, hearing and I believe that he is the uh, civil party and it is an opportunity for him to state his suffering and it is also the time times that he should uh, put the question to the accused. This is what uh, he has always wanted uh, to do. And as for the third question, I don't think that the third uh, question elicits any speculation. Uh, I think uh, that uh, this uh, question is appropriate in the Cette sense that uh, if he uh, would uh, lead this regime again, uh, whether or not he would choose to do it differently. Si les Thank you. De même, à nouveau diriger ce régime. The president. Le president. The chamber rules on the objection by the defense team. Sur les de on la the défense. first question, the chamber wishes to advise that according to the direction in relation to the uh, hearing of the uh, suffering and harm sustained by the civil party, uh, the chamber grants the opportunity for uh, the civil party to state uh, the suffering and harm he or she uh, sustained uh, during the democratic Cambodia a period from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. For this reason, the question is considered 
75 au 6 janvier 79. The chamber, uh, the Cette question est donc jugée put, uh, pertinente. The, uh, accused, and the et les accusés devront donc question. y répondre. As for the third question, la troisième question posée. This question concerns directly and indirectly uh, to the uh, suffering of the civil party, and this opportunity is considered to be the opportunity that the civil party can put Ceci the question to the accused. Therefore, it depends on the accused donc, themselves whether they uh, would uh, choose to respond uh, to the question. De décider Therefore, de répondre I à la refer uh, the question to Mr. Kilsampon first to respond to the questions uh, put Monsieur by Kilsampon. the uh, civil parties followed by Mr. Nunchier. You may proceed. Mr. Sun Sovandi. Monsieur Sun Sovandi. I am pleased to respond to your three questions. Je suis prêt à répondre à vos trois questions. Your first question. Why did en premier lieu, the Khmer Rouge vous avez demandé segregate pourquoi les Khmer the Rouge Kampuchea Crown people and then eventually les take them for Khmer execution? Pour finalement les exécuter. To the best of my knowledge, that was not the case. Tel pas été le cas. To the best of my knowledge, at that time, à the leaders of the Khmer Rouge, les dirigeants Khmer Rouge had uh, the plan uh, to mobilize the forces, the uh, national forces, forces including Kampuchea Crown people too, in order to defend uh, our country from being aggressed. By Vietnam, there was no policy, there was no suggestion whatsoever to segregate the people. As for your second question, un traitement distinct à ce groupe. Whether or not I was remorseful, si that I created a policy that led to the indescribable describable, uh, suffering of Cambodian people. Indescriptible pour les Cambodians. I would like to respond to you as follows. Voici ma I have never taken part Je in forming such a policy. Pris part à élaboration d'une telle politique. Because in my life never effet, have I imagined uh, that I would form any policy to kill anyone. Especially de tuer Cambodian qui que ce soit, people. En particulier des Cambodians. As for your third question, viens à la troisième question, if I can return uh, to that period, vous me what would I be have? Ce que je ferai si je My, your last uh, question is rather difficult to answer. For one à une telle fact is that we cannot return to the on past. Essaie, on ne peut pas when we get old, temps. we are old, we cannot uh, return. But let's say if we can Quand on est vieux, on rewind peut the en clock and return uh, to the past, what would I choose to do? 
que déciderais-je de faire If I could rewind the clock Si je and pouvais remonter go back dans le temps the et retourner past, dans le passé, I would demand uh, that the sufferings that Cambodian people had endured je be known uh, to que les souffrances the leaders and to others. Soit porté à la connaissance des dirigeants et des autres. Categorically, that the Communist Party of Cambodia redirect et je demanderai catégoriquement its direction au parti to its original communiste du Cambodia de when it was changer de cap et de revenir During its inception, au projet the Communist Party Cambodia set the direction création, that Cambodia had to be PCK independent. A fixé comme objectif l'indépendance du Cambodge. Peace, ainsi que la paix. And prosperity. Et la prospérité. People enjoyed their life. And people had happiness. Il fallait que les gens puissent apprécier la vie et être heureux. To ensure Notre the projet surplus of agricultural production so that we could export des excédents in exchange for some d'être necessary uh, commodities such as des medicines biens and other stuff. At that time, Cambodian people were lack of medicines. Les Cambodiens manquaient de médicaments. So the life necessi uh, necessity commodities were very important medicines and les other de base, comme uh, les important stuff uh, in for everyday life. That was the first priority. And then after that, we would bring Ça, in uh, factories uh, and uh, manufacturing des uh, and production so des that uh, Cambodia would uh, gradually become industrialized. That was the original plan and direction of the party. And that's what I had known, but parti. what you had described that I did not know, I can tell you frankly that I did not know the atrocity committed and the pain uh, people sustained. I would like to ask you for uh, your understanding on my situation. I have told you the truth, I have told you to the best of my knowledge. I know that even though I tell you to the best of my knowledge, you are not still satisfied, but I cannot tell you any further because that is what I know and I only tell you what I know. Thank you, the President. Court officer is now instructed to uh, change the Disque. Veuillez changer de disque. The President, next I Président. refer the questions put by the civil party de la civile to the accused Nguyen Chia à to Nguyen respond. Chia. Mr. Nguyen Chia, you may proceed. May it please the court, my respect to Mr. President and your honors, I am Nguyen Chia. I would like to respond uh, to Mr. Savandi Aspolo. 
First and foremost, the Democratic Cambodia did not have any policy whatsoever to segregate people. There was no policy to divide people or categorize people as Khmer Cambodia Kram or Khmer people. We consider Cambodian people as Cambodian people in order to uh, defend uh, our country. Therefore, at that time, Democratic Cambodia considered Khmer Cambodia Kram as Cambodian people. This is my honest answer to your question. Voilà there was no reason to segregate uh, Cambodian people from uh, the uh, Khmer Cambodia Crown. Uh, we never accused uh, them of being Cambodian body with a uh, Vietnamese hat. Nous ne les avons jamais accusé d'être des corps cambodgiens uh, avec un esprit vietnamien. Voilà la réponse à la première question. Deuxième Number point. two, as I said in the, my Comme first point, dit, to my knowledge, the second question, question uh, relates to the first uh, question. And as for uh, the third question, it has been around 38 years uh, already uh, since then. Now, if uh, we could si go back uh, to the past, what would be the policy temps, of the democratic Cambodia? I would say is that it very depend on the situation of the country. As the leaders, we had to uh, find policy to prosper the country. So uh, there, was, there is no uh, possibility of uh, returning to the past, but it varied depending passé. on the situation. Thank you. Cela dépendait de la situation. The president. Thank you, Mr. Savandi. Le président. Merci the time Monsieur is now Savandi. appropriate for lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn déjeuner. now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. And this afternoon, the chamber will hear uh, your uh, statement of sufferings and harm. Uh, sur and and votre another civil party La uh, this afternoon. And court officer, uh, please uh, assist the uh, civil party uh, during the break and have him return uh, to this courtroom before 1.30. Security guards Agent are instructed to bring Mr. Kyusampon to the holding cell downstairs and have him return in this uh, courtroom before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now adjourned.